Jesus. Hi, welcome back to Eclipse Lunatic, the show that's actively trying to get a unique one-liner for every video. We are now in Pirate Seas, but there is an epic quest available that's probably going to take half the video for me to beat. But that's just how it is. I got zero diamonds from that. Heck it. What? Hold on. <laughs> what is this? I did uh, this. I did not expect that. Anything here? No. This is very unexpected. Okay. Night Ancient Egypt. Huh. Well, guess we're doing this. No pirate seas today. Well, I was just unaware of that. Maybe I will do pirate seas if there is enough time, but I don't know. 10 levels is a lot. Wowzers, this is 4,000 years ago. Now at night time. Yes, user Dave. The night at the desert may be calm and peaceful, but mummified zombies are here and they won't give up their quest for brains. Time for nighttime battling. Bring out our sun shrooms and puff shrooms. We're finally starting to get into the like epic quests and not epic like just s levels all right all right it's not it's nice that it happens right after dark ages so i still have my nighttime plans since it's night i won't get torchwood but i'll get potato mine finally we're starting to get to the fresh stuff a oh, yeah, nice bucket head so far it has just been like haha zombie spam funny but no, now stuff is getting interesting. I mean, it probably is just gonna still be zombie spam funny, but... No, I don't have an excuse for it. <laughs> you fool. Don't you know bucketheads are susceptible to mines? Oh my god, what is going on? Are all the zombies in this level gonna be bucketheads on middle... On middle lane? Shoot, was it lane or row? I forgot. Oh, there we go, finally. I did get both of them, so that's nice. Okay. Finally, something to do. I don't know why I forgot what a lane and column were. Old age, probably. <laughs> like, officially. Oh my god. Incredible level design. These zombies have been in these rows for the past, like, two waves. I don't expect this to be that difficult. Okay, what is going on? Is it just, like, funny game mechanics not allowing zombies to spawn in the same rows? Because I think it's funny game mechanics not allowing zombies to spawn in the same rows as, like, previous waves. Because I think that's a th I know that's a thing in PvZ1. Like, early game, the, like, the game really hates to spawn zombies in lanes that ha it has spawned them in before. That makes sense, I think. I don't know if we're still in an early game considering this, but, you know, at least it's not Knights. That would have been something. This is not the greatest bit of level design. I don't expect a good level design out of a lunatic mod. Dude, what is this? I'm not even saying like, haha, funny difficulty. No, just what is this level design? <laughs> Put this here because bottom row kind of dying. Either way, I'll be fine. This isn't hard. It's the first level. I know that the first level, 1-1, one, one, was called something like the ancient something, whatever. I feel like they were one step away from just calling it the ancient Egypt. <laughs> All right, level two. <laughs> Yay! It's lunatic! Could you tell? Could you tell? Could you tell? I will hamper my ability to play the game well. All right. And instead of potato mine, I'll bring Snoopy. <laughs> Cause funny. I want to change the strategy at least a little bit. Cause I don't think I've used repeater Snoopy since, was it S4? I guess level that doesn't allow zombies to be frozen for a very long time. Yeah, that one. And I want to bring it back. It's a cool strat. What can I say? Oh, Sandstorm immediately. One camel. Oh. <laughs> Okay, understood. Do you eat? I feel like you do eat, though. Freeze, because it freezes all of them, which is very nice. Guess what? I really did hamper my ability to play this level by not bringing one of the good plants, but whatever. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I like this level. It's cool, because it uses a mechanic that's not really intended in the game. Sandstorming mummy, like these guys, to make it, like, cool and stuff. You, you know what I mean. It looks cool. Bro, bro's just standing there great boom i don't want i really don't want to deal with that row i know i used 300 sun for like two guys but that's none of my concern and it's none of your concern frankly i'm mad now top row is the only one getting these mummy guys hey they don't eat though so that's interesting they are just graves basically until these guys show up which are faster speed, I'm pretty sure. Will I get to use my Snoopy? Probably not. 
Snoopy. Probably could have used that a lot better. But whatever. Cherry Bomb's coming up soon anyways. Will I have enough sun for it? I don't know. I do. Oh my goodness. What is happening up here? Repeater can hold that. Right? It's tier 2 repeater. It's the greatest plant ever. We established that a long time ago. You know what? Just, just like dot. Good thing these events just so happen to be right next to each other. So I could cherry them. Oh nice. You spawned in the lane with the Snoopy. How smart of a decision. Don't you know that kills people? Snow peas kill people. Dude, gotta be a bit more considerate about yourself. Oh my god. Like I like I like how these guys work, because they don't they don't just like appear in your defense and start eating immediately. Cause that'd be a bit unfair. But this is this is nice. I like this. They're basically graves. They're like Octo. But like they can throw anywhere and appear anywhere. It's it's a unique mechanic, I think. I don't No, because Octo impairs a plant. No, it's just like said. It's a bungee zombie. It's a bungee zombie from PvZ. They had bungee zombies in the game already. Like not, not even a bunch. Oh my goodness. I don't know. It's a unique mechanic. Who could have thunk it? I don't much like the tone of- Oh, you are alive. I didn't expect you to actually be alive. Well, now you're dead. It's fine. Oh, long camels as well. The, the return of the long camels. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, you put them in different lanes so I can cherry them. Come on, dude. Again, be considerate of the me around you. You're dead. Being hit with a cherry right in the face does leave with some debilitating issues. I don't know how anyone could survive being hit by a cherry. Get rid of you. I really don't want to deal with that. I just, I love speed running. Just like beat the level already. Signs of camels. There are no more signs of camels. Like, because I killed all of them. The tombstones are growing wild today. They'll continue to rise from time to time, blocking our projectiles. How to break them all then? Indeed. Unless we allow the zombies to win. <laughs> wow, that's such a good descriptor of the entire damn game. <laughs> You'll get more sun after the first flag. Plan your defense and defeat the zombies. Oh, good. Oh, God. Okay. I love last stand levels. They're my favorite. I'll get more sun after the first flag. Okay, so let me get this and this. A lane of five tier two repeaters is 400, 900, 1800. One off. Okay, and I have 2200. God damn it. That's fine though, because um, I don't know why it's fine, but it is fine. Don't worry. I just, I'll get, I'll make it through because I'll get more sun. Great buster, I guess. I don't know. Let's try this. Tier three. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, I'm 400 off. Snow pee in here and go. I don't know how much sun I'll get after the first flag. I'm assuming I'll get more than 200. Oh, so are these graves just gonna, okay. So I don't think these graves are gonna appear and like push plants out because there's no, there's no like purple animation thingy that, graves usually have. That means that if I put puff shrooms everywhere, I should be okay, unless I don't know how these work. Okay, I do know how these work. It's a more involved last stand level. I'll say that. Middle lane is getting attacked, aka two cone heads. Gasp sound effect. Okay, here comes the sun. <laughs> Yo! Repeater. Okay, I don't know if middle lane is- oh, I don't know if middle lane is going to be okay. Good. That's one. Okay, we're good. Whew. I don't think I get any more sun after this, so... Well, everything should be fine. This has just become a last stand level now, where I spam puff rooms everywhere. Okay, final wave already. I didn't even notice. Yeah, repeater snow pee is just, like, good. It's just straight up good. Snow pee in general is good. Oh, that's interesting. Graves... Oh, they're on a timer, not on, like, wave-based. Very nice. Very cool. All right, one dash... Four, not 1-4. Night-4. Level 4. Look, Penny, the zombies are doing one of their pyramid schemes. <laughs> That's not what that means, user Dave. However, it looks like they are planning something. You should try to pr 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 you should try to prepare carefully before attacking. Indeed, neighbor. There's no rush in bashing zombies. Same idea. But this time actually bring Sunshroom. Is tier 3 cherry needed? Uh, mm, mm, mm. I'll get tier two sunshroom too because I don't I don't usually I don't usually have enough 
time in the level to get the third phase of Sunshroom? Pyramid Night Shift. I didn't see any pyramids in the crowd, so I don't know what you're talking about. I think I put my Sunshroom on the sixth slot, so I can't easily keybind it. Nice. This is a very long wait between the first zombie. What's gonna happen? Is it like in PvZ1 where the first, if the first zombie is a special, it doesn't... Yep, it's a double wave. I forgot those existed. Triple wave! Oh no! But it's fine, because it's only raw zombies, which are fine as well. Okay, first repeater goes up here. I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh no, Buckethead in the... What is it? Double wave? Triple wave! No! It's fine. I have... Cherry bomb. Oh, wait, I understand what's going on. They're gonna be in the shape of a pyramid. Hence the, you know... Already. Okay. This is a fast level. No double or triple or whatever wave this time, though. That'd be weird and dumb and stupid. And like, wait, would you do that? Please don't actually do that. Lunatic, please. Are triple waves a lunatic thing? Because they feel like a lunatic thing. Ecclesi would never do this to me. Ecclesi is going to do this to me. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, don't put more than terrifying. The question has become, can I save her cherry? No, no. Uh, double, oh, no. This, this is gonna. This is this surely is gonna be a level. My Snoopy, no. Quadruple wave. What is going on? No, that's that's a lunatic thing. That is a lunatic thing. Okay, since there's quadruple waves, that that feels a bit too much, which means it's clearly a lunatic thing, which means die. I'm the. Uh, I'm not feeling too good about this. Okay, I must get cherry. The plan has become. There's now become get cherry uh, mowers. Lol. Come on, quick. Come on, Sunshrooms. Come on, give me one. Okay, 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 okay. And dead. Nice. Okay. Is it worth to keep more than one more? I'll keep it because money. Oh, wait. Three. No! That was something. Quadruple waves. I don't know if that's something to keep in mind or not, or to be scared about, or probably to be scared about indeed. Yes, what is this? Yo, it's the classic checkerboard pattern, guys. Graves on mold, okay. It's the checkerboard pattern every mod does for some reason. I won't get tier three. Tier two's fine. There's never enough time in the level for me to actually get, hold on, okay. Let me fix the order of my plants. I don't want to keep Sunstrom in tier, oh my God, slot six. Tier six. Sunshroom. It would be huge after like an hour. Odd back off. Odd. B uh, no. I feel like I might have to place this on a uh, puff from there because it, no, it ain't happening. Oh my god. Do I need to get my tier one repeater? I, got, I just gotta get rid of those graves and they put them there so I can use Grave Buster. Okay. You know what? Snoopy in the back. I don't think I'll be able to get repeater off. I just don't have enough space to put Sunshroom. This is funny. Look at them. Look at all of them. This is bad. <laughs> I might need something that has global range like i don't have homing thistle it's gonna be a long level it is a long level let's restart do i have anything that's global range star fruit is interesting but it's not global enough you know, for the sake of funny i i want to test out star fruit because i don't think i have tried star fruit why does it take like 12 hours for the... Okay, have a star fruit. Okay, so you shoot slow. Like really slow. Have I played with star fruit? I don't remember. Does it suck? Is it bad? I don't know. It does have pretty good range. Although with it being on a checkerboard pattern, it's kind of hard to like get good angles. Okay, so far it's not doing that bad. Star fruit MVP. Okay, freeze and snow peep. I know that that's kind of... Doesn't make it much sense, but I don't care. Freeze. No, no <laughs> I'm supposed to freeze the entire thing. Starfruit does pretty good damage. I don't know if it's the best. Again, I don't know if it's the best at this level, considering that checkerboard pattern. But it's worth a shot. Freeze. No, God, not again. <laughs> don't. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where is your Okay, you're in this lane. But that doesn't actually have a snow peak. God damn it. How do you know? I froze the wrong guy. Am I going to have to cherry this? What even is this? Like, this is... This... Is, oh, no. Up here. Oh, God. I can't deal with you down there. Starfruit gasp is not good. Who could have thought it did? Okay. Game of defend until the final wave has begun now. At least... At least wait until the next wave. I see you down there. 
I don't think I'm stupid. I have to get have to kill that guy. Okay, is it worth to keep going? I don't know what I could do differently. Maybe actually do get tier three sunshroom. Damn it. Tier three sunshroom it is. What are star fruit tiers? Sun cost, recharge, toughness, damage. But not cool. I, okay, it's just like everything goes up. Worth. Worth, damn it, it's worth. I got tier three sun shroom flower. Thing. You. I got you. It says three up here. You. Oh my god. Me when there are zombies in the Plants vs. Zombies game. Starfruit, please shoot. Once. Thank you. Oh, do you have a cool sound effect too? You do. Come on. Come on. No. Why? You were so close to actually hitting. Oh, that sucks. That's so bad. I really don't want to have made a mistake. Because that means I can't really go back until, like, I get 800 more coins. Which is not going to be soon, if you can tell. Okay. Plan B. Let's start here. In the back. Okay. So far, this is doing a lot better. Because guess what? I put more sun shrooms, which, which means I get more sun. Wow! Either way, I should stall to get a bunch of sun. The sun is my main problem here. Because if I have enough sun, I'm just set for the entire level. Okay, just plant sun shrooms everywhere. It's not like I can lose damn near anything on it. It's 25 sun. It's already paid back. It doesn't matter if it dies. It's a good blockade too. You took my sun and you actually did take my sun. Wow surprised me planting sun shrooms in column nine they give me more sun hey look i got i got two of the tier three sun shrooms nice hey, hey don't act don't don't steal that one that one's a very valuable sun okay i need cherry bomb immediately or as fast as you can deliver it like if it's if it takes a bit of time i understand and dead Oh my god. Some of these sunshrooms are surviving, which is a miracle. And not again! Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, sunshroom does a lot of damage. A lot of, a lot of the projectiles do go unused, which is a shame, but it's starfruit. It's the main damn gimmick. You're down here, which means... Give it a second. Okay, both of you are down here, which means... Kaboom. No more waiting. I could cherry right here and be fine. And boom. All mower saved. Let's go. Now, this is where I would be ending the video off because I played five levels. Well, yeah, technically, I usually play six, but whatever. But it's been an hour. Do, what? Hmm. Well, I see endangered plant and I see this guy. So what freezes? Well, I don't... <laughs> I don't have crystal shroom, aloe, spikeweed, snow pea, cherry bomb. Okay, and I have a lot of space to plant my sun shrooms. Oh no. That's not good. No! <laughs> okay, since I have like 70 million spots to plant my sun shrooms, I will get tier one. That's good enough for me. Um, uh oh. Hello! I, cause I put the spike pea wrong. Okay, now explorers have been completely removed from those two top lanes. Come on, no! Woo! Uh, but that is dead right th there. There we go. What? What? Huh? Wait a minute. What? Is aloe not based? Guys, I think aloe might not be based. Or at least as base as I thought it was. Allo doesn't work because Bonk doesn't have a high damage to begin with. Durian. Come on. No. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, okay. It's barely not enough. What are you doing on the other side, bro? Uh oh. No, no, you, you put yourself on the... Ah, I can't move them backwards. What is this? Cherry? Hey, hey. No, I didn't even... Ah, I put the cherry there. Ah, come on. Remove Endurion altogether. Go only Spikeweed and use... Hold on. Okay, you're not immune to Hypnoshroom. I will use Hypnoshroom, because I got him. <laughs> That's actually going to be pretty useful with the sandstorms. Well, a very exotic strategy. 
using like a billion attackers and no puff shroom at night. All right, go. Okay. Just like die. I really do not want to deal with you right now or ever. For the love of God, eat this. Thank you. Here, have a taste, guys. Why is it all? <laughs> Why is it second lane always? Nice, nice. Not very nice. And death? Yes, because there's a bug zombie in the way. Of course. Should I go back to the other strategy? Let's try this again, I guess. Oh, the nice Snoopy shot. For the love of God. No, I think I just have to use this. Yeah, because bug zombie as well. Okay. Yep. You can't get past that. Oh, boy. Not again. I knew that was going to happen. Good thing I had exactly 300 sun. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right on the... Good. Uh-oh. No, 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 why is this level, this level of all levels, the hardest one? Um. Here we go, 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 here we go. It does have a repeater. Put a repeater, put a repeater, put a repeater there. Or something, damn near anything. Yes. Okay. We're good. Probably. Hopefully. We're probably, hopefully, maybe good. Just get this and shut up. Dear God. Okay. Lesson learned. Aloe kind of sucks on plants that aren't walls. Each big tomb zone contains a gargantuan. Break all of them before the final wave. Big tombstone. Oh. I understand. <laughs> that shouldn't be that hard with cherry and all that. Stall yet because it can throw back gargantuas for some reason. Do they break in one hit? That'd be pretty funny. All right, here we go. The repeaters are out. There he is. The man himself. There he goes. The fact stall you can just say goodbye to gargantuas is pretty overpowered. I simply do not wish to deal with you right now. Okay, I'm gonna do something funny. There we go. The funny has been achieved. I can deal with this. Trust me. See, I already got one. It's gonna be easy. I was hoping I would be able to save one of those mowers for the gargantuas, but eh. And dead. Okay, not all of them, but close. I didn't actually expect you to not die. Kind of expected compliance. There we go. And yeah, that's what I wanted to use the mowers for. The repeater's just like doing its own thing here at the bottom. Kind of left to its own devices. Are you gonna throw your imp? Yep. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know? Please activate Stalia. Uh oh. Um, no. That was terrible. That that was absolutely garbage. Why did I do that? That was such a terrible decision on my end. Also, the final wave is soon. So I gotta break that grave. I was gotta deal with this guy. Charge just a tiny bit faster. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me a bit more sun. Just just a tiny bit more sun. Just just a tiny bit. Just a, just one just two more. Two more suns. 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 Come on. Yeah, okay. Dear God Almighty. Leave. Okay. Okay. All right. That's not very good. If you can tell, I need my cherry bomb. I need my cherry bomb. I have to get a cherry bomb. I'm not addicted. You're addicted. Stalling. Best thing to ever happen to PvZ2. And kaboom. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got all that death. Yeah, okay, I did half of my plan up here with the cherry bomb use. Survive the zombie attack with the given plants. That's that's really it. Wiz Wizard Midnight Burrows. Yo, Tutu. Tutu Starfruit. I, this is like a, I already do use this loadout. What's the challenge here? Okay, Starfruit is here. The world is saved. I just realized I haven't said anything this level. I'm 
great YouTuber. Nothing is happening. Yeah, nothing is... It, it, nothing is, is exactly happening in this level. So little happened. I forgot I was recording a video. I... <laughs> Something could just like randomly appear out of nowhere and kill me. But the plans that I've been given seem pretty good. Considering I just used Starfruit, I, I have its tier 2 form. Which means I'm good at the game. These wizards aren't doing much, but I feel like they are going to start doing stuff. I feel like stuff is gonna start to be done. Everything. Good thing I got Walnut. Honestly, without Walnut, this would have been hard. But, like, sadly, Lunatic is not that hard of a mod. Sometimes the dev is a bit misguided and makes stuff a bit more difficult than it should be. Which is bad game design. Appropriate levels of difficulty are good. They're appropriate. Also, yes, the wizards... I was correct about the wizards. They're doing the thing that I said they did in the previous video, guys. It's the snowball. Well, we're good now. As quickly as wizard snowball did, that's just as fast do they get back. And uh, yeah, that's another thing. Like, wizards make it so gargantuars don't hit a plant. They can't destroy a sheep plant. So, like, because of that, some of my plants get protected from a uh, wizard. But it's like, again, this is what I'm saying. It's such, it's such an easy mod. Well, final wave. Nothing too bad in here. Either way, I win. Because it's... Because I got mowers and stuff. But I'm not going to need to use them. Because, like, do I have to repeat myself? It's nice that... Uh, Gargan... Nope, never mind. It's nice that Gargantures prioritize smashing a plant and not throwing their imp because it means I get to stall them, which is nice. Uh-oh. Oh, no seed selection. All right, it's going to be interesting. Emerging the light, tier three iceberg. What does that even mean? Tier three iceberg, what does that even mean? Tier three iceberg, what does that even mean? Tier three iceberg, what does that even mean? Wait, what? This is the one that does damage. I mean, it does do damage. Aloe? Do you take damage? No, it's Aloe Durian. Okay, I understand. Put one there, and then another one to freeze the guy behind. Well, uh, that can go. So many puffs. Okay, so is it is this like I only get four of these, and I do I only get four icebergs at the beginning? I feel like that's the joke. I think that's the funny. This is the part where I lose. Yep. Put Aloe Durian in the back completely. Or are these here just to take up? slots or is it tier three so that you can hit multiple enemies in the same lane probable okay let's try yep okay it is what it's tier three ability does okay let's see if i can beat this guy without using any icebergs yep it is no icebergs used there nice Endurin might be suffering Endurin has suffered no no need uh, no worry we're back okay again Nice. No need to use Ice Brick there either. God, just let that one go. Oh, and the two lanes with mowers. I am so set. And now my favorite part of uh, Aloe Durian. Waiting. Insane gameplay here happening, everyone. I could be- I, I could literally probably just get rid of all these graves <laughs> by the time this is done. There we go. Quick, remove everything. Damn. <laughs> Alright, final level. Replace those walnuts with spike weeds to defend the explorer rush in the final wave. Okay. What does this mean? Does it mean zombies are only gonna spawn on the left side? Are there, like, there's gonna be a period of time where they spawn on the left? In case that happens, I'll... Okay, so. Actually, no, I have puff. Okay, so. So, okay, so, okay, so, so, okay, so, okay, so, okay, so. It's kind of hard for me to use cherry here, but I'll keep it Maybe. Aloe, because it's walnuts. Sure, let's try this. Patch, pass, and protect. Now, where are zombies going to spawn? That's my main concern. They spawn directly on the... Yep, sandstorms. I can't get rid of that walnut. That... Uh, what happened? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I understand now. All these levels have the demonstration minigame theme, which I approve of. It's a very good song. Why did you have to put yourself there? I'm going to have to cherry you oh oh right the moment when right the moment when i feel like i'm gonna need some cheap attackers Heh. oh <laughs> okay i feel like i'm gonna need some cheap attackers to be able to deal with these guys and or snoopy i think snoopy has to become real 
I put a spike weed there. What? Okay, let me replace this before a zombie just like appears out of nowhere. Of course, because I expected nothing else. Nice. Okay. Dude, I gotta spam these. Oh my god. You never know how dumb and stupid this game can be. But it is pretty dumb and stupid sometimes. Most times. Why did you do that? You could have done it anywhere else. Two suns, two suns, two sun, two sun, two sun, two sun, two sun, come. Boom. Absolutely terrifying every single time it happens. Okay, all of it is all of it is spike weeded. Once I get the yellow off, I'm fine. Then I gotta start putting the repeaters. Because I know for goddamn sure they gotta start putting stuff after the walnuts. This is terrifying. You never know what could happen with flower lines. I called it right in the lane without a repeater. Are you serious? I knew that was going to happen. You see, it's like I've played this level before. I haven't. It's, but it's like I did. I'm kind of screwed when it comes to where I should place my aloe. Because all the lanes need aloe. This one down here needs it the most though. Aloe. For the love of all that is holy charge faster. Thank you. I have cherry. I have repeater. I am... Fine. Oh my goodness. Good thing it stalls out for long enough. Oh, okay. Terry is ready. Go on. Are you done? I swear if this kills me. Just for good measure. There we go. Okay. That was a really cool level. I really like that one. It was terrifying all the way through because flower lines are terrifying in general, but oh my god. We did it, Penny! Indeed, user Dave. The place has settled over the desert. No. The peace has settled over the desert once more. Time to continue on our main adventure, neighbor. Good job. And that's been about it for this episode. We're finally starting to get into the interesting parts of Eclis. Uh, the side quests. Mostly. But yeah, next time is Pirate Seas, unless another quest appears while I'm away. Uh, Ancient Egypt Night Part 2. But yeah, that's about it. Have a good night.